What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 8 of my Crystal Palace Football Manager 2019 Let's Play series. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up on this video if you're enjoying it and want to keep seeing this series on the channel. That would be greatly appreciated if we can hit that 100 likes once more. I'm very happy uh, you guys are in fact doing that. So uh, yeah, as we're getting closer to the end of the season now, we've got a big game today, but uh, we're going to take a look at the results we got, but they weren't anything too special uh, if we are honest, but there's something I want to show you. I did uh, I did upload the video, say the video, like upload a video like YouTube, but uh, no, just a video I put up on Twitter. Uh, yeah, if you didn't see that, if you didn't say that, um, yeah, if you didn't see it, we'll check that out now. And you might be guessing which one it is. It's the own goal. Uh, how we got, uh, yeah, how we kicked off this game, and it was after that injury, to be fair, if you see there, our first piece of action, uh, yeah, 36 minute injury, which was a long term one, uh, for Milivojevic, even with the games I played, still two to three months now, so he's really going to be out for the season, unfortunately, and really hurting his ability, bravery gone straight down, so that's really disappointing there, so, yeah, let's just check this out. It wasn't just one of those weird own goals that you just take. It was an own goal that shouldn't have happened. Just we'll we'll take a look. We'll take a look at the wonder of Martin Kelly at the moment. So uh, we are going to get a bit of build up to it. They did well. Um, oh, we were in possession. So Kelly, that's error number one. I forgot about that. He gave away possession initially. So you yeah, maybe. At that part of the game, he was down on form, making some mistakes. Uh, some, But, well, no, we won possession back. So, again, uh, it was disappointing for this reason. Uh, this chance shouldn't have came about initially if we get possession well. But take a look at this. Take a look. Just... Cali, he kicks it into his own net. The ball was there. wasn't going over. He had time to kick it. And, yeah, uh, late in the game, we conceded a couple more because I was a bit frustrated. We kept... Uh, you know how I do, you know how I put, yeah, I essentially got everyone forward late, and that was the reason we conceded, but I felt that's the only option we had, as, yeah, we weren't getting opportunities, so, uh, we haven't had a win, where the last four games, there hasn't been a victory in them, that Tottenham won, again, that was another frustrating one, uh, and then Everton, like, the last two specifically were nil-nil draws, so, yeah, I don't know. And we still got some decent ratings in the last one, in defense at least, because keeping clean sheets, so I guess that makes sense. But uh, on another thing as well, our balance has pushed uh, back into a bit more, a bit more into the negative at least. It's 8.5 at the moment, uh, because this has just gone through. The bonuses being paid out uh, for avoiding relegation. So we might have to take a look at some of the contracts. So I mean, some of these guys... Uh, being paid that amount, if we're trying to see, okay, they're mostly, yeah, first team players, but if you take a look, there's even some, uh, they're smaller amounts, but for players that are not even in the first team, uh, like this guy, and, like, yeah, who is he? He's on loan, he's on loan somewhere and he's getting paid, he's not even here, and uh, Ryan Innes, uh, sorry, I clicked on, uh, clicked on the team, uh, but yeah, they're both players on loan, so, we've got to take a look at those players anyway, players we have out on loan, uh, so yeah, we'll take a look at that, but we do have, we do have a game, I did want to update you on all the happenings, everything that has been going on, so we'll look to continue, this is a big game, FA Cup against Arsenal, and it's quite the hot day here in Australia today as well, I don't even need any lights, I don't need my lighting on, it's just all from the sun coming through, uh, essentially in my room, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> if I put my light on, it's too bright. But yeah, sixth round, you can take a look at the other games. The Manchester clubs, you would imagine they'll go through, but big Leeds United, uh, Man United clash their rivals, and yeah, Man City, Man City should win theirs, but yeah, most, uh, both, there you go, Man City beat Huddersfield as expected there. Uh, will Leeds maybe make a surprising okay we'll go to the fixtures no they scored the first goal so united man united had to come back but just with the league results it put us in an interesting position uh in terms of watford being on the same point so it's going to be a yeah really interesting uh a clash against them that's probably one i'm not going to do on camera we're going to do this one uh obviously then we even have fulham as well so unfortunately it doesn't the scheduling uh but yeah as long as we in the fa cup man I think this is the important thing at the moment, uh, for sure. But, yeah, with those injuries, and Zin Zinchenko has an injury as well. Uh, Wilfred Zaha just coming back, and I feel we need, 
we need this is this is all or nothing like <laughs> it's arsenal it's not going to be an easy match for us so yeah we've made the changes anyway uh, i've made the changes i've needed to make and hopefully they'll be the right ones if yeah they will be anyway so we'll head into this one we may not make instant changes we'll just have to or yeah change the tactics here because this is how i have it for most games now and especially if we're having trouble scoring, uh, imagine yeah how we'll be against Arsenal. Only thing, Arsenal could be a bit more attacking, so there might be a bit more space opened up. Uh, we'll see. They normally yeah they play a bit of a weaker side or try and play some younger guys. There's Tyrese John Jules, so he's a weakness, I guess you can say. But he's but he's not really in the when they're in attack, it's not something you can really exploit as much. They're playing Maitland Niles at. Yeah, I knew that wasn't his natural position, but he can play. That's fair enough. He's pretty well-rounded player, but yeah, he's, to me, he's more central midfielder uh, for sure. So what we're going to do team talk-wise, can we say passionately? We're underdogs here, but going out there and give fans performance to cheer for. Mm, yeah, maybe need a bit extra uh, with that. So we just hold shift, select all. We'll go passionately, say have faith in you to all those lads, and majority of them anyway get a, a happy reaction. More than half, so yeah, let's see. Let's see how we get started, because this is, yeah, these are the tactics we've been using exactly the last few matches, and we've been struggling. We've got two nil-nils. It's like we've been defending well. Schlup, come on. Early foul to give away. And here he is, Maitland Niles with the throw in. Might, but obviously he's going to be creative at getting forward. Uh, could be an extra player we have to worry about. Okay. See, with this setup, we are still very strong. We don't let them in. Well, initially, yeah, we force a long shot. It's always good the way you can construct your, or when you can construct your tactics like that. If it's a still fairly attacking style and you can prevent the opposition. Most of the time, anyway. But let's see. Once, look at that. Look how we forced them back. I love that. I don't know if it's going to lead to a chance for us or not, even though that piece of play there was very, very impressive. Almost forcing them out there. Just a wide pass. But you know Arsenal. Arsenal to maintain the possession. Uh, Mikatarium. Now John G He might get an assist. He, d he did well there. So Arsenal... Um, we did defend a few chances, but they were eventually able to uh, break us down, unfortunately, there. So, uh, the Mkhitaryan ball really set him up. Uh, John Jules, at least, he's got a bit of pace to get in that position, at least. So, yeah, disappointed to go behind here. I, I just feel it's going to be one of these games where, if, you, like, if you're judging off previous uh, results for us as well, it's going to be really hard for us to create something. Oh, that's Torreira. Oof. If they went to... Nil uh, would have made it uh, really hard. Let's see if we can get something from a corner, though. MacArthur, this is something we need. I think we need just, like, a banger or just any goal. <laughs> any goal for our confidence to get that goal-scoring form back. Oh, Tompkins, what are you doing? Okay, Schlupp does well. Zaha. Can't expect too much from Zaha just coming back, but... Oh, boy. And that's probably going to be half time. See, I feel maybe just because we're coming to the end of the season. Uh, the lads have put in a great shift <laughs> this season. Uh, this season put in some good work to be in the position we're in. But, yeah, in the league. And this is FA Cup. So, what are we going to do here? One more. We can't say we've been the better team. Like, that option shouldn't even be there. What do you think about options like that when we clearly haven't been the better team? You shouldn't be able to say that. Uh, show me something else in the second half, that is for sure. Maybe little changes. Yeah, I mean, Benteke hasn't really done uh, too much at all. Maybe just change him to a pressing a pressing forward. And if we head into possession, maybe we'll go more direct passing. Maybe we'll come out after the break uh, with a bit of higher tempo and yeah, get them on the break, hopefully. Uh, final third, maybe let's try and just whip some crosses in. Hit some early crosses as well. <laughs> whip them in and, yeah, hit them in early. And let's try and focus on play down the wings. Um, yeah, down both wings. Uh, we'll try maybe, and then, yeah, play a bit more wider. Uh, like I say as well, guys, got to try and switch things up. Switch things up. 
and you got to be, you can have, I feel we have a good general setup, getting that general setup uh, initially is important, but then it's all about surprising your opposition, uh, shocking them, <laughs> that's my style anyway, and let's see if we could do that once more, if we'll go ahead and concede, doesn't work all the time, could be for multiple reasons, could be the opposition is better as well, but come on, I think as a whole, majority of games against bigger teams, we've done all right. So, it's important though. The first goal is so important. Aubameyang, John Jules again. He's been impressive. And surprisingly impressive because his attributes weren't so standout. I'm not sure about his potential, but... Yeah, come on. Okay, forced out. Come on, we've got to see something. Well done. Oh, fuck off. That's going to be a... You know, you just know when you see that, when the whistle is blown and they're on a yellow. Ah, that's put us real behind now. And we're forced in playing Kuyate. Like, he has a lack of motivation. Like, he's not going to step up. Uh, like, Milivojevic would. Um, Vojevic, Milivojevic will. Uh, he's just down on confidence and just interest in playing for us. He's wanting to leave. So, it's a tough situation, uh, Maya. At least we have a decent break until next match. So... Yeah, let's try and go like this. Let's try and go like this. Uh, we got to at the moment. Yeah, really. We're a man down. But like, honestly, yeah, this is a tough one. It was always going to be a tough one initially. And now, yeah, now we've got a red. Good tackle that was. But it pushed us back a little bit. Uh, yeah, man. Man down's not going to be... Not going to be easy. You're not going to see us <laughs> be getting a lot of chances. Ah, uh, that was coming, honestly. That was coming. The problem is being a man down and needing a goal at the same time. Yeah, nah. Don't want to say that. It's gonna, it was always going to be... Yeah, it was always going to be tough. Normally. <laughs> With 11 v 11. Okay, yeah, five minutes to remain here, but... There's going to be a Socrates getting forwards, but yeah, unfortunately not the best showcase here today, and they bring on another young player. Is it going to be more, I don't want to have a really bad end to the season, I'm sure, I want to get into the next league game, get a good result, and hopefully can do that, but are they going to finish? I just feel they're playing, It's like it feels like a training session for Arsenal right now. See, it's like the, my players are completely like switched off like that. They're just no contest, no contest. So Arsenal are kind of killing us here. I know it looks bad, but again, we've had a lot of good results in <laughs> in episodes uh, this season. So yeah, obviously, yeah, getting a red card, yeah, only yeah. There's only so much things I can just <laughs> talk about this result uh, to try and justify it. Can't really, but. We just got to take it. The thing is, we haven't had a like a terrible loss. This is like the first real <laughs> kind of uh, match we've been destroyed in uh, this season. Are we going to finish in any style whatsoever? It's not going to happen, I can tell. See, <laughs> yeah, like defensively, then in attack as well. We've got nothing. We've got nothing today, unfortunately. Like, can we just end it? End the misery, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. But see, we were still in the game up until that red card, and then, yeah, we had to change things up, and admittedly, myself, I'm not the best tactically once we go down, especially when we still need a goal. If you're leading, yeah, you just go back, take a striker off, and you should hold out the result. But when you're still needing a goal against a top four side, and Arsenal arguably being the best team in this first season in this save... Yeah, still got to say far from players, it wasn't good performance, but... And it is 13 days until the next match as well. And I, yeah, I do want to play another match in this episode so we can get <laughs> a positive a positive result. And hey, against Fulham in 18th, uh, even though it's another way from home, we need to get just on the score sheet. <laughs> Not just to get a win, but yeah, get on the score sheet again. But also on a training update, Aaron Wan Bisaka, he is uh, training well. He's gone up in his leadership, so that's nice to see. Once more, if we go into the mentoring, I've got him in the same group with James Tompkins and Scott Dan. Last time I mentioned it, no one really said if I'm doing that right or wrong. Uh, but to group that guy, you want to train up with two more experienced lads. 
Uh, I just assumed that would be the way to do it, and Elise is coming along nicely. So, yeah, and his leadership's going up. So, yeah, I think it's going right. <laughs> so here we are into the match against Fulham. Maybe the break. That break was needed uh, for the players, can feel a bit more fresh, and it's a winnable game for us, but Fulham, they're going to be wanting to win. It's still possible for them, maybe unlikely, because they've only won four matches for the season, but yeah, points-wise, mathematically, for sure, they can still stay up, Southampton can and Cardiff, but it's just hard to see. Actually, Southampton has won more than Fulham. Can Southampton uh, survive again? We will, we will have to see. So again, it is... Uh, Decision who we're going to be starting and up top as well. I feel Zaha and Benteke have fell off a bit in terms of their goal scoring form, but they've scored 30 between them this season. And um, I just want to go to the squad for a second so you can take a look at the more stats opposed to just the goal score. That's all you can see there. So you can just see the appearances, the goals and assists if you wanted to check that out yourself. Maybe players, the mistakes they made, but maybe you've got to compare that with the position they play as well. Because, I mean, uh, Milivojevic, he's made what the most of the mistakes may are, but they're, yeah, they're midfield, so they're going to be more on the ball. So it's not 100% accurate to compare the exact number, you know. Uh, because they've been a couple of the better players in the team. They're not the best, but they've played their roles. So anyway, guys, I think we're going to go in like this. And yeah, we've got uh, Kali suspended, Milivojevic still injured. Like He's going to be out for the season. Yeah, not going to rush him back, even if we can, <laughs> like for the last couple games, even if he was available, I think. So yeah, I think we're going to leave it, uh, leave it like this. We'll get into this match. And here, take a look at the teams. So they're playing with those two defensive mids. Yeah, uh, interesting for that 4-2-1-3. Interesting formation for them. But, yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't know how they're going to go out, how Fulham are going to approach this. Are they going to try and go for three points? So, passionately, I feel we need assertively expect to see much better because, yeah, pretty disappointing uh, of late, which is funny because we're still in a very good position in the league. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the game. It's not the best weather. Uh, yeah, 99% of the time doesn't matter or or 99% of footballers don't care. Uh, like, that's been good. Like, yeah, <laughs> that hasn't been a bad thing. Hopefully, anyway, I think it's going to be the good thing, the little rest for us. But let's just see how the match will pan out. I feel it's, yeah, it's going to be real important for us to be one for us it, this game to be one of those games where it turns it around the recent form the very recent form last four or five games and see we need a lucky lead like a lucky goal get our own goal back our way there that was nice to see and i am wearing the football manager shirt i know you can't see it when it's like that but i am repping football manager today so uh once more to a good uh Good luck there, but you got to make your own luck, and we did that there. Come on, let's push on, uh, push on now. Bournemouth take a lead against Chelsea there. Uh-oh, got to be careful. Don't want to be conceding free kicks. No, but they're fired up by their feedback, so that's something we're to look at at the moment. Are they going to be pushing for a goal? Could a chance be coming? Because they're looking happy and focused at the moment. So that's what I'm thinking. Maybe they'll get a chance from that. Or not. Or maybe they'll waste their opportunity. And we can hit him on the break. Oh, Benteke. See, Kratzetto opportunity. It's really good to have that tall target man type. To win that instead of the centre back. But then you can give away... Like, what is happening from this highlight? We have no idea right now. Is it going to be something for us? Let's see. Van Arnhold, he almost stole that. He stole it. He stole it. And he's like, come on. He wants to do something with it. So, yeah, it's interesting. They're fired up, but we're more composed. we got that composure at the moment. So, as fired up as they are, we've got that nice little lead, but it hasn't been a complete turnaround for us. We got That own goal we've only got at the moment. And we'll say assertively, don't get complacent. And they're still focused off of that. But I still feel tactically, guys, I feel a change we need at the moment. We'll go positive, we'll go positive, and we'll try and go a bit more controlled with the possession. We'll go try and go shorter passing, maybe just a slightly higher tempo, and work ball into box, and play out of defense. Try that for a while, 
And take a be more press, uh, expressive. Don't want to go too extreme. But yeah, Zaha, he's not... Well, I don't mind. I don't mind Zaha. If he drops off in form, maybe... T- and they're all teams in our league now. And also Zaha, he's dropped his uh, kind of complaints. Well, at least from what we promised him. He's stuck... He, oh, he's starting to uh, deserve a new contract. Or he feel he deserves a new contract. Yeah, his negatives at the moment, like joining another team is not on his mind. So if he's concerned, he, he wants a new contract. He's happy to... <laughs> yeah, he's happy to actually listen to that. Maybe, let me know. Do you think we should offer him a new contract? Because, yeah, even so, it would be harder for teams to sign him. Or they'll just need to be paying more. Or they will be offering more. So let me know. Should we give him that deal? Come on, get another, get another, and he scores now, that's his 15th of the season, see, that's why it's so good when you have the, I love in a team, and it's obviously, if you would have two good strikers, you play that 4-4-2, or at least a formation with two guys up top, but when they're being pretty equal with the goal scored for the season as well, it's so good when you've got that focal point. You've got two guys smashing in goals for the season. So one, yeah, if one of them is not on good form, or both, <laughs> surely one's going to come up at some point. But yeah, James MacArthur on a yellow. We can't risk getting another red card. So Koyate, mate, you got to come up. And yeah, we'll drop you. <laughs> I say come up. <laughs> He's going to drop him to defensive midfield. But what I mean is he needs to step up. Like, has he got interest from other teams? I think maybe one team, yeah, Burnley was interested in him. I've got his asking price a little bit more than his value. Don't want to let him go too cheap. But, yeah, you need to come in and perform well. That's the problem. That's the problem with him. He hasn't all season, even towards the start when I've gave him some chances. Then maybe we'll take Benteke off. And Jordan Ayew, he started the season so, so well. And he's still got nine. But, yeah, he was on fire and you can't really see that form anymore it was like the first month or so he was scoring like every match hasn't been horrendous since then but yeah he was he was on the same level as like Benteke and Zaha scoring wise so with only 10 minutes remain I think we'll make another change who will be the third change right here then I think one Bisaka, he's 74%. Don't want him to get injured, so Joel Ward will come in. We also did, I'm not sure if I mentioned in a previous episode, we did say to Joel Ward, we'll sell him at the end of the season. He, yeah, he felt uh, it's time for him to move on. I think I did, I remember saying that, but just to remind you of that reason. And hey, looks like we're going to hold on 2 nil. maybe. I don't know, this probably will be just a highlight at the end of the game. Uh, so hopefully we don't concede one. We hold on to 2 nil. it's... It's a fairly com- but it's another clean sheet as well. If you forget about Arsenal, uh, our recent league performances. Don't forget coming off those two consecutive, consecutive, um, yeah, nil nils. That's still keeping clean sheets. So that side of things being all right. So yeah, there's another clean sheet to our name. And restricting opposition. They had zero shots on target for a team that needs to be winning games. They didn't look likely. Just three shots in total as well is very, very minimal. So just say, well done, lads. So, like I said, playing this attacking style, <laughs> tactically, but, yeah, keeping... Look, it seems like we're playing defensively. But this result could be important for us. We're hoping Liverpool do your job, and I think, yeah, we're just kind of expecting to... We don't, I, we don't think we can overtake Liverpool. We really want our seventh position. So a draw might be okay, but I'm kind of preferring them to... Okay, it does... It does happen that way, and Liverpool got the first two, didn't they, there? Then Deeney scored instantly, okay, because at the moment, we're on top of Chelsea, so they've got a game in hand, though, so they can overtake us again, but, so even Newcastle beat Man United, like I said, Arsenal, they're top of the league, so they weren't easy, easy to come up against, and Liverpool will get five, we've been, yeah, having a lot of things we've been hitting, <laughs> In terms of, yeah, paying other teams for deals that were already made. Not ones that I've made, of course. So, Milovoy... Did I promise I was going to sell... I'm pretty sure I didn't. Did I say I was going to sell him at the end of the season? 
No, yeah, if a prior, yeah, okay, I was just thinking, because it said, like, it, like the similar, not too different amount of days there with Joel Ward, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't agree that for Milivojevic, just a reasonable fee, but injured at the moment, that will even scare teams off a bit more, so, but let's just leave this episode there, so we are in six at the moment, though you expect Chelsea to overtake us with their game in hand. So maybe, yeah, we're not going to get top four or anything like that. We're not going to get Champions League. Where <laughs> We can't, <laughs> if you look at the points difference. Um, obviously, yeah, finish as high as we can is important. But if you just take a look at finishing seventh, 27 million, that's not too bad. Uh, but again, there's not major differences. I suppose if it's made a major difference if you compare seventh to 11th, Hey, that's all. Or even just for that reason to compare. 7th, 12th, that's like 10 million. And maybe 12th of the position you could see Crystal Palace finishing in. And to keep in mind, we qualify for Europe in Europa League. More money coming in for that. So, yeah, it's going to be really important for us next season. So, we, if we, we've got to control. We've got to make sure we do that. So, the next batch of games, we've got to see what we're going to play. I reckon we'll play through the next four, then we'll do Arsenal and Man United to finish off the season, to finish off huge. I love playing against these big teams, uh, challenge myself. So hopefully we'll get it done against Watford, just get that yeah, breathing space. And yeah, we'll finish off the next episode uh, in style. So yeah, to finish off the season. So leave a big thumbs up and yeah, guys, keep smashing the 100 likes on the video, especially if you do want to see this just be a long-term series now. Hopefully, we can get through these uh, injuries. And, because I'm loving this. I'm really enjoying this now. But I know a lot of people don't do their beta save permanently. But I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much right now. I was going to start an Aussie Journeyman, which I still want to start. But I know, yeah, a decent amount of you guys are still interested in this. Would you just want to see this, the main series, and uh, maybe push towards... Yeah, make sure I do upload daily and even push towards two episodes a day. And not have another series interrupt that. Yeah, it's a tough one. Let me know anyway. And I'll catch you guys next time.